So this is the, 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 the biggest fight in your career. Did you expect such a big fight coming off your last fight? Uh, I did not expect this type of uh, opportunity to swing by me after my last fight. Um, you know, I fought a, a tough uh, Russian guy, Zubaira Tuhugov, a split decision loss. And before that, I also got a split decision win in Manila. So this, it was a kind of both, both tough matches. Um, and uh, this, this fight landed on my lap. And I said, hey, this is the biggest opportunity. And here I am, and I'm going to grab it. I'm an opportunistic person. So I did not turn this down. Nobody knows uh, exactly what to expect from, from Barão anymore. Do you believe you're, you're going to fight the, the, the guy that uh, dominated the, the better division, or you're going to fight the guy that's coming off three losses in four fights? You, um, you know, I, I prepare myself for the best Barão possible. So, you know, if he comes out there and he comes out strong, I'm ready for it. If he comes out and, and he comes out a little flat, I'm ready for it. So either way, I feel that I'm going to dominate and um, I'm going to win that fight. What are your thoughts on, on his last performance against Jeremy Stephens? Were you impressed with him? Anything he did disappointing? Uh, his performance, he took a grinding fight. He shot in a lot and failed. Um, you know, he, he, he kind, of, uh, kind of flattened out after the second and third rounds. Um, you know, Jeremy Stephens brought it to him. So it was a tough fight for him against uh, a guy who's in the top 10 at the featherweight division. And he kind of got exploited a little bit with, with uh, maybe a strategy was off. So, you know, I'm expecting, expecting anything, you know. Even though this is, this is not his best moments, he's still a former UFC champion. What do you think a win over him gets you next? Yeah, a win over him will propel me up to the, to the top of the featherweight division, I believe. Um, you know, Jeremy Stevens just beat him, and now he's fighting Frankie Edgar, who's a former world champion himself. Um, which this, this is a huge, huge uh, moment in my career. And, you know, this, this will, will skyrocket me to where I belong. In your first UFC run, you were compared to Anderson Silva, George St. Pierre. Do, do you think that in the end that was a problem that, that puts a lot of pressure over you? Yeah, at the time I was a bit younger. I was in 2008, I did the Ultimate Fighter. So uh, that was, you know, seven, eight years ago. And, you know, I was, I was compared to some top level, top level champions, and you know, and, I mean, you deal with all kinds of pressure, uh, but you know, right now I feel like I'm such a mature fighter that, you know, I'm here fighting the former world champion in his own country. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not phased by by any any comparisons or any anything like that. I'm just going to go out there and perform my best. Back then, did you just took the, those those compliments and? Took it in a negative way, like believing in the hype that you were indeed the next Anderson Silva. Yeah, I mean your head. Uh, when people compare you to, you know, to that, your head kind of blows up. And and you know, at the time I was just training hard, and you know, maybe I didn't um, have the right uh, the right facility, teammates, coaches to put it all together. And I wasn't mature myself as a fighter. So those components all take take a take a role. So. You know, now I feel I feel great. I'm training with some of the best guys in the world, so, um, and I can't wait to, to go out there. You think that maybe leaving the UFC for for, for moments, getting other fights outside the UFC, was actually good for you because it was a chance for you to restart your 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 career and not get, having that much of attention over you. Yeah, uh, I I actually left the UFC in 2010, and I had an injury. I had a neck injury. And I, I actually contemplated retirement. I took a year off because I, I had to get a, a, a disc replacement. And then I decided, hey, I'm gonna get back at it. I fought in a couple of local shows. I even fought in Bellator, and I fought in some more local shows. And then I just kept pursuing the dream and keep grinding up to the top. And and who would have known that years later I'm back in, and and here I am. So this this is a huge opportunity. When you when you thought about never fighting again, uh, what what brought you back? You know, what brought me back is I, I love training. And, you know, whether or not I ever fight again, I always love training. I love working out. I love being healthy. And when I work out at the gym, then I start working out with guys who I do well against. And then I start watching UFCs, and I'm like, man, I could beat that guy. I could beat that guy. So then you just get sucked right back in, and, and you know, and then you just miss the passion, you know, and, and, and the, the glory of winning. So that's what sucked me right back in. Being back now more mature, more experienced, do you think that now you're ready, and, and, and as a featherweight now, do you think that now you're ready to, to, 
to climb the rankings and be the UFC champion? Yes, I think me going down a featherweight was a big opportunity because I used to fight at 155 um, for most of my career. So this was a good a good move for me, and and I think this is uh, this is going to be my time to shine. You know, fighting an opponent like this is a huge huge opportunity. How do you do you foresee yourself beating him, Seth? Uh, I know we're, since we're fighting in Brazil, I'm going to have to have put an extremely dominant performance or get a finish. So it's going to be second or third round submission or knockout, and, um, and I'm going get, to get the win. There's no way I could leave it to the judges in a close, close decision, because if they give it to me and it's close, I know the audience will probably break the, break the Coliseum down. <laughs>